Hello, hello, hello. Uh, sorry, I, I pressed start recording, so there was like this, they're going to be this long lead and I'm going to cut out anyway, <laughs> but I wasn't sure if I had pressed uh, start recording. Uh, welcome to Vampire Survivors uh, bonus content for the weekend. Um, try and get back to roots, I guess. Uh, finally finished the Among Us DLC. This will be the last time I mention that uh, because I finished that up last weekend. Um, but we are continuing with the adventures. We're in a garlic paradise. Um, we have started to work on some of these. Let's see, we got magic wand. Found a coffin. I mean, it seems like a lot of these will all be in the first room. <laughs> Those are all pretty. Fufa lafa fu. Um, evolve garlic. It's just so, like these. These are doable. Um, I just gotta level up my 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 guys, um, which I did at the end of last stream. <laughs> I even commented on the last stream, like, why did I do this at the end and not the beginning? Oh, I completely missed this row. <laughs> All right, because I would have definitely whatever. <laughs> We're going with it. Um. All right. Uh, I don't know if I actually have a particular goal. Uh, not yet discovered, so I guess we're still in a rough awakening, actually. Um, <clears throat> it doesn't say how to unlock these, so I guess we'll just continue in rough awakening. Um, let's stick with Blood Astroma. Um, but I think with now that I know that the weapons are all like just here, I'm just going to go around and collect all the weapons, because why wouldn't I do that? Uh, let's get a track door. I'm going, like, weapons are on the ground. Well, I was going to say, I wonder if I can pick up weapons, but I guess they're all on the ground anyway. And I was only getting, like, the birds, I guess, until I pick them up off the ground, they don't spawn. Uh, let's go grab the whips. Um, the whips are always like a key. Let's grab Ebony. Let's see if we can't get the other bird going. Um, let's grind it out here for a minute and see if we can't, uh, can't get the other bird going. But I'd like to get those before running around picking everything else up. Um, which means I'm probably going to try to unlock a lot of things here. Yeah, I hope everyone's weekend's going well. Um, I'm doing I'm doing much better this weekend. Uh, you know, I. My husband had to go back to North America. I am still here in Europe. So we're separated by like an ocean right now for a bit of time. Um, but I know like in a month or two we'll we'll be back together. So I'm not I'm not even sweating it. Uh, go ahead and grab the cat, I guess. just looking for the other birds. I'm gonna just keep doing this until I get the other birds. Really? Uh, and then we'll we'll go around and collect up the other items. Hoping I can have more than just what is uh, the slots, but I don't know until I've run around and tried to pick them all up after I already have the item slots filled. <clears throat> Sorry, my my it, it's just so dry here. It has been really, really dry. I need to I need to probably break out the humidifier and kind of just get that going. I just wasn't a big fan of our humidifier because I think it does a really bad job at it. Like I want to add some. To the you know some moisture to the air not like it, it kind of like spits water everywhere it doesn't didn't think it 
did a very good job at what its job is supposed to be, you know? Um, but it's so dry here, and my, my throat is already just scratchy, and I barely talk that much in the last um, video I just recorded. Okay, so we are going to kind of come up here and see if we can grab this other whip and see if we can't have more items than the item slots that were we start with. Because if that's the case, I'm just going to run out around and grab all the items and just go like crazy. Yes, oh, that's, that's sweet. That means this can be a really big kind of OP run of Vampire Survivors. Okay, cool. Very cool. Hungry too. I've been uh, been exercising again, uh, and I had an amazing. I I woke up late, and I almost told myself, "Ah, eh, you don't. You can sit this one out. You you don't need to do it. You can sit. Uh, you know, one day of exercise out. But like some things, something in the back of my mind was like, that's how it starts." You, you take one day off, and then you just think you can take another day off, and, and then and then you're not exercising. And so I kind of was like, no, I'll go ahead and do it, even though it's later in the day, and you know my schedule is going to be a little tight and compressed. I'm going to push forward. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm glad I did. I had an excellent day on my trainer. Um, I had a great time. Okay, so I don't... Yeah, she she would have had the magic wand, but I already have the magic wand. I wonder... No, I guess not. I was like, I wonder if it's still on the ground and can count as, like, a level if you pick it up. That's probably how they should do that. Kind of like how the uh, augmentations, if you pick those up, they give you give you levels. All right. Now we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna try and unlock a lot of things in this run. Uh, where am I going? Uh, uh, rune cast. Uh, rune tracer, not caster. I don't know why I was going to call it caster. Uh, let's. Go ahead and do match one. Uh, what was that? I don't know what that noise was. Uh, okay, there's room tracer. Grab that. And we are going to come down and grab. I think this is going to be. I'm actually not 100% certain. I don't know what this is. I don't know what item she's gonna have. I think it's a sheep. Maybe this was the cats. I already gotten it. Uh, no, you you are someone new. These gifts aren't free. Okay, they're just uh, additional items. Okay. I want that person to be as a person you can unlock. Alright, so that's just another another merchant. And that explains it. Alright, um Having said I guess I could run around, pick up some items on the ground. We got spinach. Um, I only say that because it seems like it's not until I guess I unlock them or something, I don't have access to them. Whether it's picking them up off the ground or buying them from the merchant. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go for the spinach. Um, probably the 
Palmyra, and then the Hollow Heart. Because those are going to be pretty important. Uh, let's go to this bottom right one. I'm probably closer to that than the one up. <clears throat> Oh yeah, I hope I hope everyone's week is going well. Um, I've been tired. Like my sleep schedule's still been a little bit wonky and messed up. Uh, like I overslept crazy late yesterday, and then I woke up super early this morning. Couldn't get back to sleep. You know, so I got up around my normal time. I would get up at around seven o'clock. Then, and then, like, of course, my body being dumb, I, I have, listen, I have already had two cups of espresso. That's how I start my morning. And then, like, watch a little bit of YouTube or catch up on news, catch up on like emails, uh, Discord messages, all that stuff. And then, like, um. I got to watching Mitch Flower Power, I guess, got a any percent warpless uh, record, and I'm like, wow, that's amazing. And, but, like, of course, I fell asleep while watching it. Like, my body's like, okay, now you'll sleep. I'm like, bruh, come on. I'm, like, actively trying to watch this. So, you know, I guess... Like, you're as much a boss of your body as your body likes to boss you around, you know? As much as you like to think you can make your body do what you want, it's going to decide and, and do its own thing sometimes, too. So, I don't know. I thought maybe it's like a nutrition, I'm trying to eat a little bit better, um, you know, have a little bit more reasonable portion sizes. Nope, nope, because, you know, it, it still seems to be about the same. So, I don't know. Like I said, you know, you're, you're, you're not a master of your body. Your body, your body's going to do its own thing and take, bring you along with it. Like, you're, you're not as in control of it as I think we like to think we are of our bodies. Um, not that I'm complaining. I'm, I'm pretty happy with my body. Like, just having a fixed sleep schedule would be nice, is all I'm saying. One where I'm not, like, up all night, or I'm getting decent sleep, waking up on time. Um, I think maybe, maybe if I set an alarm, that would help. So those days I oversleep, I'm, I, I wake up earlier, and yeah, I'll probably maybe be tired those days, but I can kind of, kind of get myself refocused and, and get back going with the day. So, uh, 50 tone. Always empty tones, just so good. All right, I think I think we're gonna have a good run on this one. I don't know if we'll make it to the 30-minute mark. You know, the other one went pretty poorly, but I was kind of focused on the coffin. Like, I'm see, I'm still soft. I'm still squishy. Like, they can still do a lot of damage, and I'm hoping that the garlic and whips can get evolved and those will help but I'm not gaining levels very fast but I am kind of just like making a beeline try and get the hollow heart um, maybe I should go a little slower um, but I'm not a huge fan of these vampire bats I never I never have been they're they're real tough early on in the earlier game Not low in this space. I probably need to delete like all of last month's videos and frame space, so it's it's gonna be mad.
We'll see if this file gets corrupted. Hopefully not. Oh my gosh, I'm a lot further away than I thought I was. Okay. Sorry, I'm eating peanuts. I, I probably shouldn't eat while I'm trying to record stuff. Speaking of which, I'm just curious. How big is that folder? Because I meant to delete it more. But I put them all into one. Uh, properties. How big is this file? Oh, 200 gigabytes. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> this is going to free up some room. All right. Let's make the disk happy. Um, any of these that say done can be deleted. Don't worry, I have backups of everything, so I'm not worried about it. Oh. Uh, copy? I didn't want to copy. Um, I have backups of everything. Let's see. Uh, I need to also get back on editing videos. I've, I've fell a little behind with the uh, Celeste. The Celeste videos are pretty difficult to um, to edit. So I'm not sure going forward how I want to do that. I kind of want to return to what I was doing with just the full videos. And I might do that to make things again just a little bit easier on me. I don't know. I'll have to, uh, I'll have to mull that one over. I, I haven't decided. It seems hit or miss. I, I like, I know people are definitely watching the shorts more than they're watching my long form content. Which is a shame because like, I feel like I put way more effort into my long form than my short form. Um, I know, that, that sounds like a complaint. It's, it's not, it's really not. Um, it's, it's just my worry is, I don't know if the short term, or the, the short form content's going to mean results for the long term, um, content and or long long term long format content and vice versa i i don't think so um because i i don't have a huge established subscriber base and to all the subscribers i do have thank you so much i love you all um i really appreciate it. the last two months have been amazing how 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 quickly i gained subscribers um, like I said, well, yesterday I was talking about this, um, they definitely have fallen off. I don't know if that's an algorithm thing, my choice of tags, and, you know, Google's relentless punishment of the LGBTQ creators, or what. Like, probably just saying that in the video is going to make this video not show up in the feed for many people. Uh, three bounces? I can do that. I'd love to have three bounces on that. Yeah, let's do three bounces. Love just farming these guys for levels. I love this, the, this skeleton horde. It's really the best. Um, because I think the reality is, is they are separate things, and I, I think this, I'm not alone in saying this, like, I think shorts really should be a separate thing. 
and disconnect it from YouTube because I think there's a lot of people who don't like the short form and complain about it. I, I complained about it until I started to get into it. You know, it's this weird love-hate thing. Um, you know, a lot of it tends to be marketing. A lot of it tends to be kind of um, clickbaity. So I, I think there's some really good short form creators. Uh, I, I just think I'm okay at it. I I had early success with some videos. I, I guess those videos no longer get the same traction or those same style videos for the uh, shorts. So I, I'm probably going to like try to just mix it up, change it up more. <clears throat> and it's weird too because like I noticed like this week they were they were like lagging behind like they the they weren't getting a lot of views the initial night but like I would come in and like the very next day they would have like way way higher views um one which was like an Among Us one which who doesn't like Among Us um I guess got promoted like continually get promoted and like it wasn't like a huge spike but it was just all on this always regular steady climb which was really great except like it's a shame I think I only got like like out of 9,000 views I think I only got one subscriber from that video and it's just like subscriber thank you I love you I, I think you are an amazing person and wonderful but I, I, you know, earlier when I, I had videos like that, like that got those numbers, it would be like, I get four or five subscribers, which are, is amazing. Nothing's, nothing's better than when you wake up and you see like six people subscribe to your channel. You're like, holy, mm, something went well last night. So, uh... I want this magnet orb that's down here. It doesn't show on this map, but I can see it on this map. I know it's right by... Um, uh, I don't know his name. The, the guy, the purple... The purple sweater jacket shirt. Um, and then once I get that, I'll... Yeah, there it is. I'll probably not move around this much and just kind of work on clearing out enemies and try to get some levels. See if we can't survive to the 35 minute mark. Or 35 minute, the 30 minute mark. I think leveling these whips are going to be kind of a key component of that. Because they're going to give me health. Same with evolving the garlic. Evolving the garlic will be really, really helpful. Alright, that's evolved one. I'll take that. Obviously, no one's going to turn that down. Especially since it has no cooldown now and just always fires. That's going to be great. change the shape of the daggers? They look more like a stiletto. Oh, see, that looks normal. Hmm. Like the blade looked thinner on the other image. Okay, so that was health, it sounded like. But yeah, uh, it's, it's whatever. I, I, I'm gonna, I guess, maybe try to change things up. I, I think that's like the main thing with with shorts or any content on Twitch. Don't let it get stale. You know, change the format up, change things up. I don't, I don't pretend to know what I'm doing. I'm really just kind of winging it. 
you know. Um, there, there are some people that know their stuff and have... I, I just don't want to make, like, low effort clickbait. Like, I, I really do feel like I'm trying to put some effort into it. And I feel like maybe I could do better. I just, I don't, like, same thing with my stream. I'm, I'm always, I'm always wanting to improve it. I'm always trying to do better. I'm trying to make it, like, this fun thing for people to enjoy and participate in. And I don't, I don't know where to go sometimes. I don't know what what makes good content necessarily what makes bad content Ooh, something was doing some damage to me. I couldn't see because I was probably in that that cat fight um just know like I don't I don't know what I'm doing and I am just trying to have fun I'm trying to make this work I enjoy I, I enjoy the creative process. You know, I'd like to if I get settled somewhere in North America or the US, I'd like to do maybe some like art streams. I want to try doing some Zwift streams. Um I I'm an avid biker. Like road biking, not like a chopper biker, but like you know, the Lycra, the the Goofy Shorts, um, the really kind of fast, lightweight bikes. Um, I I really like that bike. I it's I I know I've talked about it on the stream before. It's just really free. I. There, you can get on a bike and you can just go. You can go wherever you want. You know, I I know I know bicyclists can get a bad rap with cars, um, like they don't belong on the road, etc. I think they do because they're definitely you can definitely move way too fast on a bike for a sidewalk to be safe. Um, but I get you can't travel as fast as a car on a bike, um, which I would just say, well, the biking infrastructure is the key, you know, build, build yourself cities everywhere, communities, build, build bike lanes, just add them, build purpose, divide it. You know, purpose-built bike lanes. Um, you know, uh, I I lived in Richmond. I grew up and lived in the outskirts of Richmond. Um, after I graduated college, I moved and lived in Richmond. And so, Richmond, Virginia has something called the Capitol Trail, and it's for the most part a bike path. It's a bike path that goes from, they call it capital capital, so um, Richmond to Williamsburg, because Williamsburg used to be the capital of colonial Virginia. Um, that's, that's a whole other thing, don't, don't get me started on that. Um, and so it's a 50 mile... 50 miles? Yeah, I think it's 50 miles. It's a 50 mile paved course. Um, I'm, there's an organization that worked with the city. I don't remember its name. I could look it up. Um, they work to, to buy property, buy the land, buy the, buy the areas that they need it to run the trail through. And honestly, it's an amazing trail. If you are an avid biker and you really like bike riding, get to... Oh, let me add this caveat. Especially as a biker, because I know a lot of people don't like hills. Richmond, Richmond has a lot of hills. If you go to Richmond, 
prepare yourself for lots of hill climbing. Um, that being said, since I that's all I ever knew, I love hill climbing. I love being on a bike and going up hills. Because, like, to me, biking down really, really fast is, like, the reward. Um, oh, did I delete? No, I didn't. I thought I might have deleted something I didn't mean to delete. What is this? Okay, you're you're deleted. I don't know where what you are, or where you came from. I got a lot of videos to to catch up on. Um, but yeah, I I I've always wanted to get a smart trainer and try doing Zwift. Um, I, I've started watching some of the Zwift streamers. I've, I met, I'm, I subscribe to one. I, I feel like I'm, I feel a little bad. I always seem to catch the end of his stream. Um, which is a shame. I, I, I cause I kind of want to see, I don't know if I'll be like focused on road racing. I have an idea that might be kind of fun, like where I do Zwift as exercise, you know, with the smart trainer, but like I try playing video games while riding a bike. I don't know how good <laughs> that'll go. It's just an idea, you know? <clears throat> like that's that's the big thing with like content creation. How, how can you set yourself apart? And right now I don't think there's really anything unique to what I'm doing with like playthroughs and playing video games. You get my unique perspective, I guess. But I mean, I'm I'm just a, a person. I'm 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 kind of a nobody. Anyone can do this. Um but I also don't want to like try to make a name for myself by like doing dumb prank channel stuff or clickbait or like doing like doing giveaways you know I've, I've given games to like my regular twitch subs not even subs just my regulars because like they they show up they're there uh, they I feel like they appreciate me, they appreciate the content, I appreciate them. And so, like, that's that's what I do instead of, like, just a, a giveaway or something like that. Like, I want, uh, what do I want here? Uh, uh. I guess Silent Old Sanctuary, these aren't... I don't really have anything good, honestly. Um, I just think giveaways, you're not going to get... You're, you're going to get people subbing because they just want a $20 gift card to Amazon. And yeah, that'll boost you in the, like, results but I don't think those people actually want to watch the content. You know, I, I'm i just trying to focus in like, hopefully the people that subscribe and join my channel want to watch the content. Um, maybe Vampire Survivors starting to wane, fall off. I, I still love it. I know it's one of the more underserved games. Um, so I don't know. Like I said, I just, I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to this, so I'm just kind of always winging it. I'm always trying to improve it. That's why I went to the 20 minute video format, because I thought like, oh, maybe people will want to watch, you know, it's, it's easier to invest time in watching a 20 minute video than a three hour screen video. It's it's a lot easier for me to just put up the stream video at three hours. I just don't think I'm that entertaining for three hours. You know, like it's it's hard to always be on for 
for the stream. Like, if I had maybe a more active chat, I mean, that's that's what any streamer wants. It's just a super active chat. If you have an active chat, like you, you have everything you need. Chat is one of the biggest things. Like, that's the thing that like I, I think most most. Uh, uh, Twitch creators would tell you that, like, be because it, without, like, an active chat, like, you're trying to carry the silence yourself, and that gets hard. There is only so much I can talk about for three hours, especially if no one else is, like, including themselves in that conversation. I, I always listen. I try to involve people in the conversation i try to get them to talk sometimes you get good long discussions and those are great oh sorry oh, big stretch um but it's still it's sometimes it's like like the celeste 64 stream kind of surprised me because I was looking at my metrics like I probably average four to five viewers a stream when I was looking back at my average viewerships I had an average viewership of 11 so I definitely had significantly more people watching that than normally watch my stream and it's like no one like, and I can see how long people were watching, so it was definitely, like, lurking. I'm fine with lurkers, but, like, man, one person just, just, just throw out like, some dumb bullshit or, or, you know, asks, asks the streamer, what, what do you like, pi uh, pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? You know, like, something stupid like that can lead to a big, long conversation and just generate activity in chat, activity with the streamer. You know, it's one thing if I'm playing a game that kind of, like, it, it was hard to, like, talk and focus on Celeste at the same time. Celeste just required so much focus. It's hard to, like, focus and entertain chat while also just focus on what you're doing. Um... But I felt like I like playing the Legend of Doom. I could kind of balance those. I could focus on the game and also engage with chat and have fun with it. Again, still still tough to carry the conversation yourself. Um, if it weren't for Chippy, um, Chippy is super huge into Doom, so. You know, it's easy to go to him to ask him questions or help or or I'm trying to do this thing, how do I do it, that sort of thing. Uh, and Chippy's a good guy. Honestly, if you're, you're not already subscribed to him, please subscribe to him. Let's, let's get him. I want to get him over a thousand, but I think he's focusing on school. And I don't think he's wrong for wanting to put into that fire thing. That fire break. Um, I don't think he's wrong for wanting to focus on school. Oh, I got all that money from the unlocks. So I'll get a bunch of money from this unlock set of unlocks, but then that money kinda goes away and then I gotta collect it. Okay. That makes sense. Um So, yeah, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with, with YouTube, um, I do enjoy this, I do like making a thing, I think it's just gonna be a matter of trying a bunch of different things until I find success with something. And that's kind of like, I feel like that's been what I've been doing from day one, like, I don't, I don't know, with, without Nintendo providing updates for Mario Maker and adding new content to that. 
it, it's it's already in the death throes. Like, uh, realistically, maybe I should learn to play um, more more rom uh, rom hacks um, because that's always a good fun community on Twitch. Or and this is something I really want to do, so I want to get into speedrunning uh, Link's Awakening for the Game Boy because of the... of any... of all games, any game that I know, uh, Link's Awakening is the one I know best. And I would really like to... like, do that. I would like to play that. I think... I think the only thing that I'm not great at with Link's Awakening is I don't know the locations of all the heart pieces, and I don't know the locations of all the uh, um, secret seashells. But other than that, I know all every everything else about what there is to know about that game. Um, I've tried playing every version of the game, which. I gotta say the 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 re HD remake I was really disappointed it kind of in the the one that a fan made it was okay I just would have done a couple of things different and now with the uh, the strike takedown from Nintendo like those things are never going to get improved anyway so that's just gonna be whatever I guess which is a shame because I I think it's it looks great. It plays really well. I just had some some complaints about the combat. Like, you know, the way I play is maybe a very oh, random always. It's probably a little conservative, but I'm very used to the way I, I played it as a kid was being able to have my shield out blocking, but also have my sword out at the same time. I couldn't do that on the Zelda HD remake, and I I suspect they did that to limit um, conflicts with having multiple weapons because since they designed it for like a modern controller, you could set four different you know uh, buttons to four different items. I don't fault them for that, um, but like. For me, when I'm so used to playing a certain way, it really just messed up how I play that game. So much so that it made me want to play again, and so I've been doing a Deathless run. Oh, nice. We got him. Um, which has been... Uh, oh yeah, he's got levels to level up now. Forget about that. Let's see if we can get him all leveled up. Um, and so I've been replaying, like, I found, and I do own it, uh, a ROM of, like, the OG Game Boy Link's Awakening, not the DX version or the color version. And people are like, why do you want to play that version? Because this is the one I want to play. Honestly, it's the one I grew up playing. You know, I I had the DX version too growing up when I couldn't. I, I think I lost it. I don't know what happened to my Link's Awakening's cartridge, which I still wish I had it. Um, uh, there are a couple of and works up here. I don't know if I can work to them. Oh, there's Red Death. Okay, that's fine. That's still an amazing run. Full 30 minutes, so that should also unlock another level. Seven things. Nice. Risky Woods. Antonio. Oh, Pascalina. Gennaro. Gennaro. Uh, the Asunta. Uh, Pepino. And Blazer. Planar Blazer. I don't know what Planar Blazer is. Which I think that's cool. They added things to this that I don't know what they are. What's Planar Blazer? Oh, is that level 80? Planar Blazer. 
blazer? What is planar blazer? That must be a weapon or either a person. Let's see, is that a person? No. So that must be... Oh, is that costumes? That might be costumes. Does it say what it does? No. It just tells you what you need to get to unlock it, but it doesn't say what it is. Maybe I'll look online, see what it says, Planar Blazer. If I had a guess, I didn't look. But, see, like, I have that. So I'm wondering if it was just the costumes. Uh, let's spend some money on some power-ups. I know, I, again, I don't know why I'm doing this at the end, but not the start. Um, growth seems like good, but might recovery. I'll just spread it around this. Because those are all going to be good for me. All right, um, so I have 3,000. I can probably put it into these. All right, all right, that seems pretty good, I'll say. I like these little adventure things. I, I, I like that it adds, it might not give me achievements on Steam or something, but I'm glad they, they're constantly still adding updates and stuff. Um, speaking of which, I should probably check their Steam page and see if they have any announcements or anything going on. Anyway, I know I complained and talked a lot about YouTube and stuff like that. Um, and you can help me out a lot by subscribing or liking the shorts and stuff like that. You made it this far. Why not? You've already come this far. Drop that subscribe. Um, give me those likes. It it really helps me out with the search results. Um, but I'm going to keep this short because I went on forever yesterday. Uh, have a good night. Have a good evening. I hope to see you tomorrow. Consider following all the other social media stuff. They'll be down in the comments down below. Not comments, description. And um, join the Discord. Uh, that is a great place to see what's going on with the channel and what I'm doing. Uh, with that being said, have a good day, everyone. Bye.